Assalamu alaikum and hi, in this video we are going to present the case study about Heineken. This is our presentator which is Chishtina Emilia Amani, Nurul Kairatul Hanis, Nurul Hayati, Muhammad Ifdal, Aina Safiya, and Nabila Adanan. I am Kairatul as planning company background. Henneken is a Dutch multinational brewing company founded in 1864 by Gerrit Adrian Henneken in Amsterdam. Henneken maintained its leading position across Europe after taking full ownership of Asian Pacific breweries such as Tiger and Bintang in 2013. Henneken also acquired Mexican brewer Femsa Cerveza to become a more competitive player in Latin America. Henneken was expanding their name when the merger between two largest brewing empires in the world, AB InBev and SAB Miller, happened. And with that, Henneken became the second largest brewery in the world. They then opened a new brewery location at Netherlands, and the original brewery closed in 1988 and preserved as a museum called Henneken Experience. March 19, 2019, Henneken opened its first Mozambique brewery, representing a $100 million investment, incorporating the latest technology with the presence of His Excellency Philip Nusi, the President of the Republic of Mozambique. A local base specifically met with corn that grow in the region will be produced and called Silar. Henneken's decision to acquire brewers that operate in different countries is to increase its reputation. This achievement reflected the appointment of Van Potsmeer as Henneken's first non-Dutch CEO by addressing threats that has never been faced before while handling the challenge of preserving the firm family-driven tradition. Business level strategy refers to the action and decision that a company takes to gain a competitive advantage and achieve its objective within a specific business unit or market segment. It focuses on how a company competes in a particular industry or market to create value to customers and generate profit. Business level strategy involves making choices about key elements such as target market, product, service differentiation, pricing, and distribution channel. It aims to position the company uniquely in the market and create a sustainable competitive advantage. There are several common business level strategies that company may adopt, which are overall cost leadership, differentiation, and focus strategy. So for Hineken, the Dutch beer brand employs a various differentiation strategy to set itself apart from the competitor and cultivate its distinctive brand identity. These strategies encompass elements such as unique brand identity, premium positioning, and impactful marketing campaign. So for the first one is unique brand identity. Hineken has successfully established a recognizable and distinct brand identity. The brand iconic green bottle, which has become synonymous with Hineken, immediately set it apart on store shelf. Additionally, the Red Star logo serves as a visual rep representation of the brand and contributes to its recognition worldwide. This cohesive and distinctive visual identity helps Hineken stand out among other beer brands. Second one is Hineken position itself as a premium beer brand, focusing on offering high quality, great tasting beer, the positioning set A apart from lower price competitors, and appeal to consumers seeking a superior and indulgent beer drinking experience. By positioning itself as a premium brand, Hineken can command a higher price point and attract, and attract consumers who value quality and are willing to pay for it. And lastly is the marketing campaign. Uh, Hineken is renowned uh, for its innovative and impactful marketing campaign. This campaign will play a crucial role in differentiating the brand from its competitors. For example, the Open Your World, Open Your World campaign uh, emphasizes breaking down barriers and fostering connection among people from, from diverse backgrounds, such as campaign not only promote the brand, but also associate with values such as, such as inclusivity, adventure, and cultural exploration. By connecting with consumer on an emotional level and promoting a distinct brand image, Hineken set itself apart in the market. So, through this strategy, Hineken established its own distinct presence in the beer market and attract consumer who resonate uh, with its value, quality, and differentiate offering. I am Nabila and next we will see about the corporate level strategy. Corporate level strategy is a multi track business plan that is used by a leader to define, describe and also achieve the specific corporate objective. 
Diversification is applied when company wish to grow. So for the Heineken company, they use related diversification. So what is the related diversification? It is occur when a company enters a new business that share the significant similarities with its existing industry. The, the case study it state that in Egypt, rice bought a majority stake in Al Haram Beverages Company and had been using the Cairo based brewer fruit flavor, non alcoholic malts, as an avenue into other Muslim countries. That means Heineken Company used Cairo based brewer fruit flavor to enter a new business that shared the same similarities with the Heineken beer. Diversification initiative is to create value for the shareholder through merger and acquisition, strategy alliance, joint venture and internal development. In this case, Heineken used merger and acquisition, strategic alliance and internal development. So for the first one, I will explain about the merger and acquisition. Merger and acquisition is the process of combining two or more companies either through a merger or an acquisition. It is defined as merger and acquisition. Merger is occur when two companies of relatively equal size agree to join forces in order to create a new entity, while acquisition is occur when a large company purchases a smaller company. So for this case, Heineken acquired a Fisher, a small French brewer who does Paradise brand, had been quite successful in Ninch market. It also states that Heineken has been making a string of acquisition of the other parts of the world. Its recent acquisition in Ethiopia, Singapore and Mexico have allowed it to build its position in this growing market. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Afdal bin Abdul Halim. I will continue with Strategic Alliance and Internal Development for the Heineken. So for the Internal uh, Strategic Alliance, which is a cooperative arrangement with, between two or more organizations that involve sharing resources, knowledge or capabilities to achieve common goals. In a strategy alliance, the partnering organization typically remain independent entities but work together in collaborative manner to achieve mutual benefit that they may not be able to achieve on their own. Uh, one of the strategy alliance in a case study related to Heineken is the company partnership with China Resources Enterprise CRE to expand its presence in Chinese market. In 2018, Heineken announced that it had formed a long-term partnership with CRE, one of the China's leading food and beverage company, to brew and sell Heineken in a beer China. Um, the strategy uh, allies allow Heineken to leverage CRE local knowledge and distribution network to increase its market share in China, which is the world's largest beer market. At the same time, CRE was able to benefit from Heineken global expertise in brewing and branding. Uh, the partnership was seen as a win-win for both companies, with Heineken gaining access to China's growing middle class and CRE expanding its portfolio of premium beer brands. The case study could explore the benefits and challenges of performing that strategy alliance, the cultural differences between uh, the two companies, and the role of the trust and communication is a successful partnership. As for the internet development, uh, which is internet development is a group that happens when an organization or company uses its own resources to grow the company. Heineken introduced a live beer, Heineken Premium Light, to target the, the growing market for such beers in the United States. Uh, the company can have a diversification either in a related business or an unrelated business. Related diversification, a corporate strategy where a company expands its operation by entering new businesses that are related to its existing business activities. For the Heineken, they try to enter a Muslim uh, country market, which is during the last decade, the firm also added several labels to Heineken Chef, pouncing on brewer in the far flung places in, like Belarus, Panama, Egypt, and Kazakhstan. In Egypt, uh, they bought a majority stake in Al Ahram Beverage Co. and had been using Cairo based brewers' fruit flavor, non alcoholic mouths, as an avenue to, into other Muslim countries. 
Next is differentiate business level and corporate level strategy. The strategy can be defined as the integrated plan used to get success in particular affair. Firms must differentiate between two types of strategy so that they can improve the performance of the firm and gain a competitive advantage. The first one is business level strategy. It focuses on competing successfully in the marketplace with other firms. Hennigan gained a competitive advantage with a high-profile acquisition in 2008 of Scottish and Newcastle with Cosberg and gained control in several crucial European markets. Next one is corporate level strategy. Stresses on increasing profitability and business growth. Hennigan reached a new geographical area with acquisition of smaller brewer in different parts of the world and producing local beer using local specialty. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurul Hayati and now we are moving on to the next content which I will explain regarding the motivation of strategy use. Heineken is a global brewing company with an operation that is over 190 nations. The company plays a high priority in innovation and sustainability and its motivation for the strategy use is to maintain the market leadership while meeting the changes in needs and prefer and preference of its consumer. Focusing on premiumization is one of the Heineken uh, main business philosophies. The business wants to establish itself as a premium brand that offers its client a high quality goods and services. Its marketing initiative, product lines and distribution method all reflect uh, with the or reflect with this philosophy. For an instance, Heineken has introduced several premium brands, including Heineken 0.0, a non-alcoholic beer that caters to a consumer who are, who are health conscious. The strategy of Heineken also entails increasing its footprint in two, in two new areas. The business has made a significant uh, investment in expanding its distribution network uh, in this market and also for a strong relationship with regional distributor. Heineken has been able to take advantage of this strategy to meet the rising demand uh, for premium beer in developing areas like Africa and Asia. Furthermore, a major driving force behind Heineken overarching strategy is its sustainability approach. The organization is dedicated to lowering its carbon footprint and and enhancing its environmental performance. The company manufacturing procedures, packaging choices, and uh, supply chain management all reflect this philosophy. Heineken, for instance, has made investment in renewable energy source to run its breweries. Heineken has also set a aggressive goal to minimize its water use and carbon emission. The last point is plan of work. This case study takes about 9 weeks to be completed and I will explain from the start about the flow of our project. On week 1, we need to create a 6 group member and after as our leaders start to find the other member to form a group. Proceed with week 2, all the members start to choose the company from the ebook, which is Heineken and we are gonna analyze the topic in detail. On week 3, the member were given to a particular task which were divided evenly. And for 2 weeks, we need to collect the data and information regarding the business of Heineken. Next, on week 6, our group member Nabila will cross-check with the other member to make sure their point is correct and relevant for the case study. After that, on week 7, all the group members need to prepare their slide for their own part based on the information required from the draft. Next, on week 8, we check the slide content to identify any mistake and change some part if necessary. Other than that, the member also can start recording and editing the presentation video. And finally, on week 9 is the week for submission. We have to submit the slides and the presentation video to the lecturer through the Google Drive link that were provided. And that's all the plan of work for 9 weeks to be completed by our group.